the 2023 Boston Marathon, one of the most anticipated races of the year, has finally arrived. Eliud Kipchoge makes his Boston Marathon debut as he takes on World Marathon Major number 5. His goal for conquering all six would be put to the test as he lines up on the hilly course in Boston. Make sure to stick around and see how the 127th edition of the Boston Marathon unfolds. With a little bit of fog and some chilly weather, the men's elite race takes off and of course Elia Kipchoge is the man in the front of the race leading. A big group of men all follow the Kenyan star as he was set the pace early on and everyone followed. You can see Evan Shebet, Benset Kibudo, Connor Mance, Scott Fabo, and so many great runners in the lead pack. The pace from the beginning was set by Kipchoge as he would run a very quick first mile by splitting 4 minutes and 37 seconds. That means the men's race was off quickly and out to about a 201 marathon pace. As the men went through Ashland and got the first bottle of fluids, the lead pack got much smaller to less than 15 athletes. Kipchoge still in the front with Connor Mance to his side and the two Boston champions still following within the lead group. The men's elite race would go out to the first 5 kilometers in 14 minutes and 17 seconds. Just to give you a comparison, Elliot Kipchoge split his first 5k in his world record performance at the 2022 Berlin Marathon in 14 minutes and 14 seconds, so the pace was very hot in the beginning. The group would slowly string out as the very fast pace was catching up to many of the runners trying to stay with Elliot Kipchoge. Everything was being controlled out front by Elliot as he continued his quest to not just win the Boston Marathon, but to also break the course record if possible. The men continued to follow the blazing fast pace, with only about 10 remaining as they reached the 10k mark in a time of 28 minutes and 52 seconds. The second 5k split was slowed down a little bit to 14 minutes and 35 seconds, however they were still running fast on the Boston course. The miles after this point would decrease pace with a group of 11 men going strong. No one seemed like they wanted to take the lead themselves as they continued to follow Kipchoge and run at whatever pace that would be. Shebet, Caputo, Mance, and some of the other fast guys are some of the few that would be able to stick through the 15 kilometers and split in a time of 43 minutes and 56 seconds. The pace would be just about 8 seconds over the course record set by Jeffy Mutai back in 2011. Leading the whole race up to this point was Elliot Kipchoge and soon after CJ Alperson would move from the back of the pack to the lead. However, that maybe lasted for a minute before he tucked back into the pack to draft off the other runners. The men's elite race would go through the screen tunnel and you could just hear the roar as the men would speed by. Even with a slight drizzle, that would not stop people from going out to the course to cheer on the Boston Marathon. Who wouldn't want to go out and see the greatest marathon of all time run past them? I know I would. 20 kilometers would be passed in a time of 59 minutes and 1 second. Even with the pace just above Jeffy Mutai's course record pace, the men were still all bunched up and the racing still had not begun. As the men's professional race reached the halfway point of the 2023 Boston Marathon, 11 men remained as they split a time of 1 hour, 2 minutes and 19 seconds. The pace is slightly over 2 hours and 4 minutes, however we know from past races that Elliot Kipchoge is able to turn on the Jets and be able to negative split in a marathon. The Boston Marathon course record of 2 hours, 3 minutes and 2 seconds, the fastest marathon time ever on US soil was still in reach. The men's field would start to get smaller and smaller as the miles went on after the halfway point. From 11 men down to just 7 men very quickly. Kipchoge, Shabet, Kefudo, Career, Gay, and two other runners were all in the lead pack. 30 kilometers would clock a time of 1 hour, 29 minutes, and 23 seconds. Right after this, there would be something very interesting that would happen. At the next drink station, Kipchoge went for his bottle but was not able to grab it. Soon after the drink station, Gabriel Gay would try and run away from the men's lead pack and it would also be the time that Kipchoge starts to drop off pace. Gay would be reeled right back in by four of the guys. 
career back in 6th and Kipchoge back in 7th. Shebet and Kabuto would take over the lead in the race as they both have won this race and also are teammates. Evans Shebet decided he wanted to try and make a move on the rest of the guys by pushing the pace and this is when the field starts to string out. Betsy Kabuto and Gabriel Gay tried hard to stay within contact of Shebet. The race was not over as these three men were not giving up just yet to win the title. Elliot Kipchoge was clearly out of the race as he was not having the best day. The last time he lost a marathon was at the 2020 London Marathon which also had rating conditions. While on the front, Gabriel Gay and Evan Shebet were battling it out. Betsy Kabuto started to fade away just slightly. However, still in contention to catch back up to the two leaders. 1 hour and 57 minutes and Betsy Kabuto would take the lead in the race with Shebet and Gay following. 3 minutes later and at mile 25, the battle of the teammates was on. Shebet versus Kabuto. Gabriel Gay followed in third behind just a few seconds. Evans Shebet would surge ahead with a kilometer to go and the other guys could not respond this time around. Gay and Caputo were fighting for second and third as Shebet was now well ahead of both of them. Evans Shebet, the winner of the 2022 Boston Marathon, would come back to the 2023 edition to defend his title. You can call this an upset, but this man won last year's race and he knows what it takes to win and now we have witnessed that he is one of the best marathoners in this world as he beats guys like Gay, Caputo, and Kipchoge the GOAT. Right after the race, Shebet was interviewed and he stated, Last year I ran 206 and this year I ran 205. Evan Shebet won Boston and New York City last year and in 2023 he is the winner of the Boston Marathon. Gabriel Gay would go from his 4th place finish in the 2022 race to the runner up in the 2023 race. Betsy Cabruto, the 2021 champion, would take the final podium spot right behind Gay. Elliot Kipchoge would have to settle for 6th place in his Boston debut. Even though it was not his day, he was still able to get to the finish line to complete the race. Now the question that comes to mind is will Kipchoge ever win the Boston race in his career? Comment if you think he will or if this will be the one marathon major that he won't have on his resume. The 2023 Boston Marathon had a very interesting turnout and I hope you enjoyed the highlights of the race. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.